You have to understand the source of procrastination is not one thing. There are basically two kinds of procrastinators, or so says the research. The first kind are people that actually really enjoy the stress of the impending deadline. It's the only way they can get into action. These are people that really like the feeling of you know, something being due in an hour and how activated and sharp and focused that makes them feel. Those people are people that are tapping into the epinephrine system, the stress system, and for which the stress really tightens their ability to see. It creates that soda straw view of the world. It creates an action element in the body that makes them feel like they want to move. It really eliminates all the distractions for them. So they're actually leveraging stress, internal stress, in order to achieve a state that they can't seem to otherwise achieve. From a logical perspective, it makes sense, therefore, for those kinds of people to think about other ways that they can get their system into activation. Normally, you're waiting for that deadline to come into sight, and then that's what the stimulus is. But you can self-direct adrenaline release without ingesting anything. There are other procrastinators for which they simply are not releasing enough dopamine. They're not making enough dopamine. And for those people, there are a variety of things that can increase dopamine. I do suggest you talk to a psychiatrist or doctor. I've talked about macuna purines, which is 99.9% L-DOPA, the precursor to dopamine. So there are people that do much better when they take things that increase their dopamine levels.